Uh, week off, Dennis, for the lads, or week not having a game for the lads? Are they refreshed and ready and ready to go? Yeah, we've had a good week's training, actually. It's been, it's been a point of just trying to get ourselves back into a little bit of a groove, reset ourselves in a little bit of a language we've used. But we've we've looked at the fact that I had a bit of a mini pre-season. They had a couple of days off after we played Warrington because the fixture was on the Thursday. And then we dropped into a three or four day block of training, like a pre-season camp kind of thing. We did it offside and it just sort of gave us a, a different focus. We trained really well. What, we, what we've had this week for the first time probably in a long time is we've had a steady 22 players from our top 25 out on the training field all ready to play which has been real positive you, you missed quite a few obviously in the, in the Warrington game a couple of weeks ago all back are they? You, you, you well Aaron Heremeyer won't, won't play and he'll like say he's, he's unlikely to feature throughout the um, qualifiers but Lloyd White will be back um, Reese Van will be back, Chris Halston will be back in, in contention. So yeah, we're looking to bolster the team. Like I said, Chris Bridge as well also come back into the mix. Chase, Rangi. Rangi as well, yeah. Uh, how important is getting off to a good start here? You've got two championship games coming up after Warrington. Getting a win against Warrington would, would really set you off on the right oh, Well, I think but for both sides, Warrington will be thinking exactly the same as us. Everybody in that first round of the qualifiers, if they can get a win, just gets them moving. So that's a really important point. Important two points for anybody, but we can't see it as the be on end. Or like I say, we're playing a Super League side. They're playing a side that's in contention for the that top three three spots that everybody's after. And we're um, we're at home, which is a real advantage. And then we run into two Championship sides, so a start will be really important to us. And like getting a win, that's our main focus. Who we're playing, what we do, getting a win at home in our first game is obviously going to give us a, a big confidence boost. Played Warrington three times this year, and the games have all been tight. With them winning in the end, have you learned something about Warrington from those games that you can take into this one? Yeah, they're a good side. <laughs> they've got some good players. They know things about the game. They've got experience. I think every time we've played them this year, we've had a very young team out there as well. We've been enthusiastic, but we've just lacked a little bit of composure, a little bit of rugby smarts, really, just to shut the game down put the ball in the right places, keep hold of the ball at the right time. And that's the experience that we're putting back in the side. They've got a bit of threat on both sides of the field now, Warrington, haven't they? Petr Heku's come in and he's playing well for them. Ryan Atkins has had a, a great season for them. So you, they've got threats on both sides that you've got to look after. Yeah, they're a good side. I think Heku's been a, a very good side, actually. I think, like I said, you look at bolstering your squad for the... Um, for these kind of things, and um, they've, they've had the, the ability and the, the money and the, the quality in their group to be able to drag somebody like an international centre in, who's not he wasn't playing regular in the NRL and he was looking to get some game time, but he's, a, he's an international quality centre. I think last time we played him, I think the difference between the two sides was both their centres. Uh, Witness have experience of the qualifiers, you personally do, and a handful of your team on Friday night will have played in, in qualifiers before. Do you think that gives you a bit of a handle on how to handle this in terms of the pressure? Well, it, for myself, yeah, about the, the anxiety and how to translate that across to the players. Well, that's, a start is important, a good start is important. Obviously, it takes away that little bit of anxiety that's in there, but it's a completely different competition. It's, it's a very, very bizarre situation to find any player in, like I say, even if you've experienced it before, it's it's a tough it's a tough competition these next um, these next seven games. And it's, it's a tough competition because even though the championship sides have some of them part time, it's they come out and they've got they've got three or four games in the the games of their lives. They've got something to re they're really striving towards. Whereas we're trying to protect something they're looking to and gain something. It's a it's a completely different mindset. And it's it's the mentality of British sport that this is really important. <laughs> Everybody's looking to who's going to die instead of who's going to win. Mm. Of the three qualifier competitions we've had so far, would you say this looks like the strongest one? I don't think anyone was thinking Warrington, certainly, and probably Catalan too would be in the in this competition at the start of the season. Well, I, so. I think you put Leeds in there last year in Huddersfield. Mm -hmm. I think it, it, it's a very, very similar kind of mix, isn't it? It's like you, you stick those three sides that are in there last year. I think it would lead to Huddersfield and, and Salford and it's a, uh, and I mean, okay, I was in there as well, sorry, yeah, I'm not sure, um, it was, 
it was a tough, tough competition last year. And that, that's the similar kind of situation this year. And you've got a very similar mix in the championship teams because London have found their feet. They were a bit off last year, but this year they've had a really good year. The coach has done a good job. They seem pretty stable. Hulk KR are a Super League side playing in the championship. So you've got that same kind of mix of what Leah put together to give them a chance to get in into Super League. And then you had for, for a very, very exciting, tough, um, anxiety-filled two months. You're at home on Friday. It's also a local derby, apart from what it means in terms of the qualifiers. It's a local derby too. The crowd can play a part for you there, can't they? Oh, that crowd's been fantastic over over a period of games. I say we've not. I don't think we've let anybody down this year. We've just not won games, and everybody can look at the the, the table and the situation, and we can call on injuries, and we could. But there's only been one or two games this year when I feel like we've really not turned up, or we've just not been good enough. We've lost some tight encounters. We've not had the quality to be able to finish off games when we've got control of those games. And now we're starting to get the quality back in the group, starting to get our experience back, and we've put everything on the line. And now, now we'll see who can stand up and who can show their character and determination to right a couple of wrongs that we felt that were there this year, which was the fact that we've, we've just not, we've underperformed. The players feel like we've underperformed. We've, we've let ourselves down at times and we've let our supporters down. But the, I think they can see that there's a desire there and when they've, when they've seen that they've got behind us and that's what we need on the weekend. How easy has it been do you think? Do you think the players have really managed to put the fact that it was a disappointing season you finished bottom in the regular season? Have the, have the players bought into that reset mentality that hey that's gone? This is well they seem to be saying so, we'll find out on Friday night won't we really? We've trained really well and then the lads have turned up, they've said the right things, they've worked hard, now it's about bringing the attitude to the game and, and, and putting the things that we practised in, into play under pressure and the cauldron atmosphere that will be here, what's at stake, then your, your quality of, of character shines through. Like when you're under pressure, when it really matters, can you catch that ball, can you finish that play off, can you make that tackle under that kind of pressure, that's, that's what we're trying to strive for.